I'm currently in Moldova, but for the last month, roughly, I've been helping with the coverage of this unfolding war in Ukraine. And over that time, I've taken hundreds of photographs uh, in Ukraine and here in Moldova. The favorite photograph that I've taken, or the one that's impacted me the most, was one that I took inside a school in Lviv. Lviv is in the western part of Ukraine, and over the last few weeks, it's become a bit of a sanctuary for Ukrainians fleeing other parts of the country. This particular photo I took was of uh, hundreds of children inside a schoolhouse that had been brought there by Ukrainian uh, education uh, bureaucrats and school administrators from parts of the country like the Donbass region in the east or Kiev, the capital. Um, all these children had some sort of intellectual disability. Many of them were orphans and had been brought under cover of darkness by train in a secret operation by these educators to the schoolhouse in Lviv to protect them. And I remember walking into this movie theater in the school and seeing all of these children there, um, all of them vulnerable and unsure of what was happening, many of them in despair, and taking this photograph of this boy leaning on the chair in front of him. And it left a lasting impression on me. One of the most difficult parts of covering this war, but one of the most important, has been showing how the war is impacting and changing the lives of everyday ordinary Ukrainians all over the country. There are millions of people and no one has been untouched by this war. Often though, it's one of the most important things we can do to show how ordinary lives have been turned upside down. It's one thing to talk to army officials and politicians, it's another to see how the single mother or the child or the grandparents have had their lives totally upended by Russia's invasion. Mm -hmm.